January 21st, 2016, and you might have seen these at the novelty stores. I've had this thing since the 80s, I'm pretty sure. It's called the Eye of the Storm. Now, these things are actually called plasma balls. And what I think is very interesting is Tesla, who is one of the smartest guys in the world, he created this thing. And what kills me is I cannot believe how dangerous these things I think are and that they're even sold as toys. So if you've got children, I would tell them to not play with these and I will tell you why. Now they look all beautiful and everything. When you put the turn the light on and turn it on. But just look at this. I've discovered this by accident. Now look at the uh, CPMs is about mid 40s and then I'll show you again what this graph looks like once we started but I don't know I think it's picking up x-ray radiation because this Geiger counter which I recommend picks up alpha, beta, gamma and x-ray radiation now enough of my talking, watch what happens at these CPMs when they go on. It just airs out. Hold on. Turn this down. I'll turn it off. Okay, now I'm going to turn it on again, but from a distance. I've got to cover this up. Look at this, 6,400, and I'm like two feet away from this thing with the lid down. See how it went down to 160? This is on a 30 second average. Let me turn this back. See how far away I am? Look at this thing. Okay, let's, this is like crazy. I'm up to like two feet away and it's picking it up this over 3,000 CPM. And look at, this is what I wanted to show earlier. Let me turn this down and take a look at that. See what it peaked right there. Let's cruise across to what number that is. Now these are counts per second. It's topping at well here. Let's take a look. It records it right there. The maximum data point is 70. Now this is a Wikipedia for a plasma ball. So it says a plasma globe or a lamp. It says it's a clear glass filled with a mixture of various noble gases with a high voltage electrode at the center of the sphere. It says the plasma lamp was invented by Nikola Tesla and his experimentation with high frequency currents and an evaluated glass tube for the purpose of studying high voltage phenomena. But the modern versions were known to be first designed by Bill Parker. Tesla called this invention an inert gas discharge tube. Now check out when you search on the internet look what comes up. The Nebula 
plasma ball. And look, they got the little kid standing within a foot of it, touching it. I really wonder if the toy makers really evaluated this toy. I don't even think Santa would want this on the list. Alright, I got the Radiation Alert Inspector Plus. And here's the manual for it. It says the inspector is a health and safety instrument that is optimized to detect low levels of radiation. It measures alpha, beta, gamma, and x-ray radiation, ionizing radiation only. I think this is what I'm picking up. Its applications include, look at the last one, detecting noble gases and other low energy radionuclides. These are noble gases that are in here. Power a city. We, we might actually have the solution to energy right in front of our face and we're using it as a toy. Or are these x-rays that are coming out of here Now this is arm length, which is about two feet. You can't get within two feet with this thing to start to whistle. CPM. It's times a thousand there. Twenty-four thousand. All right. I'm gonna restart this. Actually, I think it's messing with the computer here. Hold on. I'll check this out real quick. It's messing with the computer. I can't move the mouse until I turn it off. And now I'm able to watch. So this is like totally screwing up with the energy field. The magnetic field around this cannot be safe. And that's why I don't think it's safe to, for this to be a toy. Alright, let's start this over again. starts. We're going to want it to go right over here. Watch this. We're going to start over from zero and turn it on. Clear. Start. Actually, here's a background of CPMs, which is you're looking at maybe one or two counts per second, which would is that adds up to the average data point which is usually 0 0.50 which is about 30 CPMs and let's bring this back out a little bit so we can see this what happens when I turn the eye of the storm on Geiger counter is over here boom 14, 420, and that kicked it up to 2, 141 is the high point, so now I'm going right up to it. Times a thousand. That was uh, like 72,000, which is what that comes to. Let me turn it off so I don't fry my brain out. Boom, right there. And it comes to, it's uh, 7,472 is the... 
CPS, the count per second, the highest data point. Actually, you can almost feel the atmosphere frying as this thing is on when it goes on. All right, we're going to do this one last time. We're going to start from zero all over again, and we're going to do a minute just on the eye of the storm. You'll see where I turn it on. It says it's 98.30 times 1,000. It went higher. We're going to do a minute. They're kicking it about a hundred thousand. Two hundred and seventy six times a thousand. All right, I've had enough. You get a, the picture. These things are totally dangerous, and I don't know why they're being sold. Three hundred fifty thousand. I don't even have to do a background. Now this is some scary stuff over here. I think I'll be putting mine away forever. Now this is a article from Radio Electronics March 1988 and they had the plasma display where you could actually create one yourself if you wanted to. But let's check out what they say. The display the plasma arc, the visual displays created by an electric current flowing through the gas in the tube. In a plasma ball, the gas can be argon, neon, krypton, or any combination thereof. And last but not least, is this is a uh, plasma globe, U.S. patent. Right there is the number, incandescent electric light. 1894, February 6th, Nikola Tesla describes this plasma lamp. This patent is for one of the first high intensity discharge lamps. My conclusion on this plasma lamp is where it states here the lamps typically contain xenon, krypton, and or neon, though a number of other gases can be used as well. Alright, my conclusion on this is since my Geiger counter peaked out at, I think it was 350,000 counts, that uh, you would need equipment better than that Geiger counter to figure out really what the hell's going on here. And it really does not look like it is safe. Now, this could have impacts on people with maybe pacemakers, defibrillators, or any kind of health electronics, I would stay away from this thing. And you could probably even get burned if you keep your hands on it or putting any pieces of uh, metal up to them. So I would stay away from this plasma ball and uh, I would seriously uh, uh, consider not having kids play with it. Um, can this thing cause cancer? It is sitting off an electromagnetic field that is so powerful it could actually be disrupting the ones that are in our bodies. So if anybody knows what's in them, uh, maybe put some comments down because I can't figure out what exactly is in them. 
and I don't believe they're safe. Alright, I kind of regret even doing this, but I wanted to see what it's on the micro sieverts per hour, this, this different setting besides the CPM, so let's see what it gets. the peak. The point is this is ionizing radiation I'm pretty sure which I'm guessing is really bad for you so enough of the experiments. See how it goes back down. Be safe. I am perplexed. How is this a safe toy for us to play with? Maybe instead it should be called Eye of the Neutron, Eye of the Neutron Storm.